What's up guys, this is a CodeMonkey99 here with you today, and today I'll be teaching you about a ME storage device, which is a big combination of ME computers and access terminals and ME controllers all put together to make it one giant chest for you. First of all, what is ME? ME is matter energy, and basically what that interprets to is that you have matter, which would be all your objects that you have, and it turns it through energy that travels through machines. Well, of course, to get the energy, you're going to need some sort of power. Luckily, this takes almost all power resources, but I use EU for this, so I just use some compact windmills and just have a high voltage windmill and put them out 2048 EU per tick and I only use 161 AE which is applied energistics per tick which isn't that much EU it's probably double that which is about 300 EU but that's not that much really so let's build it for you and start off alright let's head out over there let's put on my armor first alright I'm on fire that's great <laughs> alright as you can see, it's nighttime, but I have my night vision goggles on, so it works out. So I'm going to teach you how to build an ME storage device and tell you why you should use an ME drive for storage over an ME chest. All right, first of all, you need your ME controller. We'll just place that there. And as you can see, it's got energy, and that's why this is all glowing up nice and shiny. And next thing we're going to need is our access terminal so we can see inside of it, which now the energy just travels through. You don't need any cable or anything, and the electricity just flows through as well. You don't need to connect it to any extra power. It just shares through the block. And now we can try to add stuff in there, but as you can see, we have no nowhere to store anything. So what do we do? How do we get storage for this? Well, you can use a ME chest as you can see but the deal with the ME chest is that it only has room for one little 64k storage so it's basically like having a chest available but it can only use one of these and whenever we connect it up to power which you don't have to do you could just place the block right here or next to this but since we didn't we're gonna have to use ME cable and it'll just travel right on through to this anyways now that we have this here, as you can see, it's already holding stuff in this drive. And it's just like having one ginormous chest. But instead of that, if we get rid of this, and we go ahead and mine this and pick it up, and we, re and we replace the ME drive, which is what I would recommend doing, or replace the ME chest with an ME drive, you can go ahead and place that there, and then just put in one of these, and you can fill it in with many more. You can have eight in total. I mean, that's quite a bit. Well... 10 in total. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to having a different version of this. Anyways, so you're going to have eight of these, and it's not like the chest where you just open it up and then you put your items in here. No, you don't use this interface at all except to add the ME64K storage or 4K or 16K, whatever you can afford at the time, and then you can just access it from here in the big access terminal, which is much more nifty than having to go through all these chests once again and just instead of having one access terminal. And then with this, if you have 64K storage, you only need one server to hold all your stuff. You don't need four or five chests. You just need one drive and then the 64K or 16 or 4K little storage units in it and that's all you need and it's pretty simple I mean just add stuff you can pull it out and it'll bring it out in 64 CACs or if, you, or if you want 32 and then you can just put it all back in and it'll resort itself and you can sort it in different ways by item ID by item name by number of items by priority I mean there's just unlimited options basically here and in, instead of having one giant chest everywhere having chests everywhere trying to find one item you can just go in here and say I want cobble and search cobble and then there you go you got cobble and you can just do whatever you want it makes everything way easier it's also like a free sorting unit so that's your little tutorial on ME storage today join me again tomorrow and we'll go into further detail on ME stuff thank you and have a good day